few extra things that you're going to need. Here at First Wave Surfing, we recommend the ProLite Surfing Accessories. Okay? The first thing you're going to need is your leg rope. One thing you do need. Okay? You've got your surfboard, you've got your leg rope. Okay? This is what attaches you to your surfboard. Most leg ropes are roughly the same length as your surfboard. If you've got a seven foot surfboard, you roughly want a seven foot leg rope. Okay? They do come in real thin leg ropes or thick leg ropes. Just a standard or regular one is exactly what will help you out. Okay? It's just a Velcro strap, attaches around your ankle, attaches you to your surfboard. So that's one thing you'll definitely need to look for. Okay? As you progress on, other things you can look for with your surfboards are what we call a deck grip or a pad. These go at the tail end of your surfboard, and basically what they do, as your surfing improves, you'll start to get more turns and more drive, and you'll start to really push that off your back foot. And your back foot is placed on this grip that goes over the tail end of your surfboard. However, as a beginner, it's not something that you really need to worry about. The good thing about the grip is that it will give you a bit of extra feeling, a bit of extra grip under that back foot, and you'll know that you'll have some good foot placement and you are in the right spot. So it's something that we use more as a progressive or a more experienced surfer to get more performance out of their board. Okay. Other thing which you may need to look at is how you're going to transport your surfboard. Okay? So if you're going to put your surfboard on your car, there's a couple of different ways you can do it. We have roof racks, or if you've got a nice car and you don't want to carry a good um, solid roof rack, you can get what we call a soft rack. And these are a much cheaper alternative. Okay? It's not a permanent roof rack. It's basically a soft padded strap that belts around the ceiling and the roof of your car with another strap that ties your board to the, that transport your board so without too much drama. The other thing is we have tie downs. If you do have a permanent rack, this is what will secure your surfboard to the roof of your car. It's just a strap, it's got some good locking teeth. You wrap it around the roof rack, wrap it around your board, pull it down tight and your surfboard will be nice, safe and secure on the roof of your car. So they're the accessories, a few things, that's all you'll need.